नेक्स्ट सेकंड टॉपिक इज यू नो ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो वेर ए नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इज कॉल्ड क्वाडेटिक इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन आर रूट्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन what do you mean by solution are roots the values of x which satisfies this equation we have to find and uh, let us see x square plus b by a into x plus c by a is equal to 0 and i am writing like this x square plus b by a into x minus b by 2a whole square माइनस बी बै टू ए हॉल स्क्वे प्लस सी बै एज ईक्वल टू जीरो ई थिंक नथिंग इज रॉक् वी कैन कैंसल दिस टू विल बी गेटिंग द सेम इक्वेशन अगेन ई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग एंड डिवैडिंग विथ टू सो वाट कैन रईट एक्स स्क्वे प्लस टू बी बै टू ए डी एक्स प्लस बी बै टू ए हॉल स्क्वे ई कैन रईट इट ऐस एक्स प्लस बी बै टू ए हॉल स्क्वे Minus this term b square by 4a square plus c by a is equal to zero. So x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to what you can write b square by 4a square minus c by a is it? That's all. Now x plus b by 2a Whole square is equal to b square. Four a square is LCM and uh, minus four ac. Now square root on both sides. X plus b by two a is equal to plus or minus under root of b square minus four ac and uh, square root of four uh, a square is. 2a. Now you can send this term to this side. X is equal to minus b by 2a plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So I can write it as x is equal to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. That means if you take plus, you will be getting one solution. If you take minus, you'll be getting another solution. Means two roots. Let me take those two roots as alpha and beta. So alpha will be minus b plus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, and beta another root is minus b minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So sum of these two. Roots alpha plus beta. If we do, what you are going to get here? Plus b square minus 4ac minus b square root of b square minus 4ac cancel. What you are going to get? Minus b by 2a minus b by 2a. So minus b by a alpha into beta. You take this as x, this as y, this as z. So y plus z here y minus z by 2a 2a so 4a square. So what you are going to get y plus z into y minus z. So y square minus z square minus b whole square minus square of this term will be b square minus 4ac. That is equal to here plus b square minus b square cancel. 4ac by 4a square. That means c by y. So sum of roots will be minus b by y, and uh, product of roots will be c by y. And some more conclusions. Let us uh, draw from this equation. That is.
suppose if b square minus 4ac we call this as delta discriminant suppose b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 first condition what you can observe this will be 0 this will be 0 so you will be having minus b by 2a again minus b by 2a so alpha is equal to minus b by 2a beta is equal to minus b by 2a so you will be getting real and equal roots second one is b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 that means positive value so you will be having some positive value some 2 plus 2 minus 2 so you will be having two different real roots so real and different roots you will be having suppose third one if this discriminant b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 you will be having root of some negative value root of some negative value we call that as imaginary part so you are having imaginary and different roots but this case we will never use in our physics that's why you just go for these two first case when discriminant is equal to 0 you are having two equal roots and also real if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then you are having real roots but uh, those uh, values are different